Hey guys, it's your Tina here. It's been a while since I uploaded a nail tutorial. I really miss doing them and so today I thought I would show you guys how to up your nail game with these French tip designs. So these are great if you're new to nail art and if you want to just do your nails at home. Starting off with the classic French tip, I'm working with a long nail, so I'm gonna use a long liner brush to create the white French tip. To make it easier, you wanna coat your brush evenly with gel polish beforehand. Here I'm using D-Gel, which is one of my favorite Korean nail brands. The colors are very pigmented and long lasting. These are their newest gel range, and I have a discount code with them. If you wanna get 15% off, use code TINA15. I'll leave the link for you guys below. I'm going to mark out the center of the nail and the sides where I want the French tip to start and end. Then I'll draw a diagonal line from one side to the center creating a V shape. I find it easiest if you use a long liner brush for this because you can just drag and create a straight line with ease. Next I'll draw a line across to make the letter A. This is going to be how thick the white French tip part will be. Now that I have a general shape, I'm going to fill in those areas with white. All I have left to do now is to perfect the smile line, which is the curve of the French tip. And ta-da, that is your classic French tip. If you wanna make it a little bit more fun, you can always add in more nail art on top. Here I'm creating cherries using a dotting tool. And then I'll use a thin liner brush to draw in the stems. This is really easy to do and perfect for beginners. Also, what's great about using gel is if you make a mistake, you can always wipe it off. Or if you're happy with your work, then you can cure it. If you're working with an almond shaped nail, let me show you another way to create the classic French tip. This is another technique you can try. I'm going to draw a line in the center, which will mark the middle and the thickness of my French tip. Then I'll draw a curved line from one side to the center to create the smile line, and I'll repeat on the other side. Now I just fill it in with white. And you can also play around with how deep you want your smile line to be. If you want it deeper, all you need to do is bring the sides higher into the nail. Now if you're not that great with nail art, stickers are a great option. Here I'm using butterfly stickers to add more interesting details on top of the French. You can see how cute they look afterwards. This design looks really good on long nails, especially if you have coffin or square shaped nails. I'm gonna start off by repeating the same technique of creating the V shape. And then filling that in, Next, I'll mark a small dot above the V, and this is where I want my accent lines to meet. Then I'll draw two thin lines that crosses over at that dot to create an interesting design like this. Ta-da! 
To create an ombre French, it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to use a sponge instead of a brush and I'm using the sponge to dab and pat on some white gel polish to about two thirds of the nail. You want to work with a thin layer and just keep blending with the sponge. Then I'm going to cure the first layer and repeat that again, but focus a little bit lower than the previous layer. So about halfway. This will build up the opacity of the white. And once again, I'm going to cure and repeat. After the third or maybe even fourth time, you'll see that it creates a gradient effect where the tip of the nail has more gel polish, making it more opaque. The reverse ombre. With this design, it looks best when you have two different shades. Here I'm using a light blue and a dark blue, so there's contrast. I'm going to paint half the nail with the light blue first, and the remaining half with the darker blue. Next, I'll remove any excess gel from my brush and use it to blend the two shades together down the center. All I'm doing is just long strokes from top to bottom to help blend the two colors together. Once I'm happy with that blend, I'm going to cure it. Then I'll create the French tip using the reverse of the colors. So dark blue first and then light blue on the other half. After that, I'll blend the center together using the same technique. And finally, to clean up the smile line, I'm going to use a brush with some alcohol to wipe off and shape the smile line. Ta-da! It's actually pretty easy to do. If you want something a little bit more free-flowing and abstract, you can opt for a swirl design. First, I'm using a purple shade and my liner brush to create a swirl across the nail. You can pretty much do any shape you want. I'm gonna fill that part in and then with a lighter purple, I'll add in a thin swirl on top. and another line to create contrast. You can literally do any type of line or swirl design that you like. Every nail can be different if you want. It also looks really good when you use different colors. So get creative and have a play with it. Here's a fun way to do your French with animal prints. I'm gonna be doing a zebra print nail using a liner brush and black gel polish. I'm drawing in horizontal lines that sort of taper off in the center. I'm drawing them from either side and they can kind of be a little bit different. You don't want them the same because it won't look as natural or organic. I find that it always helps to bring up an image of the animal pattern or print that you want to create. So there's reference to guide you. I'm going to draw these stripes about halfway on the nail so it kind of creates that animal print French tip design. You can go as low or as high as you like. Another design you could try is a holographic French tip with some added sparkles. That's optional. This is really easy to do. All you need to do is apply a non-wipe top coat to the nail and cure for about 15 seconds or so. Then grab your holographic chrome pigment and a sponge applicator to gently rub the powder on top of the nail, creating a holographic tip. For me, I focus most of the powder on the end and then just sort of blended it and faded it to create a subtle gradient. Once I'm happy with that, I'll apply another layer of top coat to seal it and cure. Now this is totally optional, but you can add in some sparkles or stars. I'm going to be drawing mine in using some black gel and a fine liner brush. So I'll start off by painting on a few small crosses on the nail. 
Then with my dotting tool, I'll just pop a small dot in the center and use my liner to quickly touch up and create little stars. This heart French is a super cute design you can try. First, I'm using my larger dotting tool and some hot pink gel polish to get a general heart shape on the tip of the nail. Then I'll use my liner brush to fill and define the shape. Once I'm happy with that, I'll cure that under the light. Then grab a lighter pink and draw the outline of just the top part of the heart. Pretty much whatever fits. And again, I'll cure that once I'm happy. And then I think I can fit another tiny small heart right at the tip. So I'll draw that in with my liner brush. And ta-da! How cute is this? That's it to this video guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this nail tutorial. If you're just getting into doing your own nails or nail art in general, I do have a nail playlist, so do check that out. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on awesome tutorials like this. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!